I'm Shannon and today I've got a book tag to share with you guys. Today I'm going to be doing the Finally Fall book tag. Um, I came across this just by sort of searching on YouTube for fall book tags. There's always a ton. And I found this one on a channel called Ashley's Little Library and I thought it was so cute and I just love the questions. <laughs> so I thought we'd just get on into it and answer them ourselves. So all these are kind of fall related questions about books obviously. <laughs> Oh, and back here, that's Bernard. He's my October co-host. Um, he's been here all October for the past, I think, four or five years at this point. He likes to just hang out. Um, don't expect too much conversation from him, but we appreciate him all the same. So question number one. In fall, the air is crisp and clear. Name a book with a vivid setting. For this one, I think I'm going to go with... Um, the Great Alone by Kristen Hanna. There are so many books that have wonderful, beautiful settings, but that one is the first to come to mind. It takes place in Alaska, and there's just something about the way Kristen describes every bit of that setting from the isolation, even down to the cabin where they're staying. Um, it just really stayed with me. Also, a lot of times um, I find horror books have very vivid settings, like The Shining. I mean, you read The Shining, you're never, ever going to forget the Overlook Hotel. Very vividly written. Question number two. Nature is beautiful, but also dying. Name a book that is beautifully written, but also deals with a heavy topic, like loss or grief. I've mentioned this book so many times on my channel, but it's one of those books that... Um, to me at least, was very powerful. And it deals with both loss and grief. And that is All My Puny Sorrows by Marion Taves. It's just a, just a beautiful book, but it's so sad and so gut-wrenching. Um, but it sticks with you and I just, I love it so much. Fall is back to school season. Share a nonfiction book that taught you something new. For that one, I'm gonna go with On Writing by Stephen King. It's sort of his memoir of his journey as a writer, at least the first half is. And then the second half is what he calls the toolbox. And it's a lot of really practical writing advice, um, which I love. I find so often books about writing give you all these, this beautiful poetic sort of advice. But in this, the king's not trying to do that. It's just like very simple advice that you can easily put into practice. Um, even down to like words to avoid and I just thought it was very helpful and I learned quite a bit from it. In order to keep warm, it's good to spend time with the people we love. Name a fictional family or household or friend group that you would like to be a part of. Well, you guys, I've got to tell you a lot of the books I read are kind of dark, and kind of twisty. So a lot of those I wouldn't really want to spend any time with any of those people. But I think um, the young girl in me has to say the March family from Little Women. Um, I loved that book. I loved those sisters. I loved everything about it. I loved the movies. All of it. So I think that's who I'd spend a bit of time with. Question number five. The colorful leaves are piling up on the ground. Show us a pile of fall colored spines. All right, I got these right here. And here are some. These ones stood out the most to me first so i'll tell you what books these are just so you know the first i mean this whole cover is perfect perfectly fall colored and this is full dark no stars um a stephen king collection of short stories this is one of my favorite of his short story collections actually and for me as a big stephen king fan um the short stories are what i love the most so definitely would recommend checking that one out we've also got speaking of Kristen hannah the Four Winds. We've got Magic Lessons by Alice Hoffman. And actually, speaking of Magic Lessons by Alice Hoffman, um, the fourth book and final book in the Practical Magic series just came out. I just started reading it last night. So this is book three. So I also wouldn't mind spending time with uh, some of the Owen sisters. I wouldn't want to be part of the family though, but spending time would be fun. And then Burning Girls by C.J. Tudor. I uh, did a book talk on this one not too long ago. Let's see, question number six. Let me pull it up here. 
falls the perfect time for some storytelling by the fireside. Share a book wherein someone is telling a story. You know, I'm not sure. I'm sure I've read plenty. Oh, first one that comes to mind is A Woman Talking, again by Marion Chaves. I think, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's hard to uh, remember sometimes. Okay, uh, number seven, the nights are getting darker, share a dark, creepy read. Oh, I've got, I've got lots of these. So like I just pointed out, um, Full Dark, No Stars by Stephen King, that's definitely one that you could take a look at. Also, one of my favorite horror stories that I read, um, maybe ever, but definitely this year is It Will Just Be Us by Joe Kaplan. Loved that. Um, and it's definitely, if you love a good, creepy Haunted House Story, which is my favorite. I think you would love it. You would love it. It's great. It's so well done. Um, I can't wait to see what she puts out next. I follow her on Twitter and uh, I can't wait. Can't wait to see. All right, number eight. The days are getting colder. Name a short heartwarming read that could warm up somebody's cold and rainy day. Again, for that, I know I mentioned him a lot, but Stuart McLean. He puts out collections of short stories that all revolve around this one fictional family. Um, and it's Dave and Morley, they're the parents, and then they have two kids, Stephanie and Sam. And every, you can pick up any Vinyl Cafe book and read any story in the collection and you will just feel better. You will have a better day. I'm telling you, Stuart McLean is, or was, uh, the master at that and I love it. Fall returns every year. Name an old favorite that you'd like to return to soon. Well, we're currently doing a reading of Pride and Prejudice on my channel, although it's been a while since I've put up any chapters because my mind's been kind of going with trying to come up with some Halloween content. Um, so I'm happy to, that was one I had wanted for a long time to revisit, so we're currently doing that. Also, speaking of the Practical Magic series, I'm going to soon have a book talk on um, all three of the most recent books, so the Book of Magic, Magic Lessons, and the second one, <laughs> the name is escaping me, but um, I read Practical Magic before I ever started this channel, and I just feel like if we're going to have three of the four books on this channel, I should reread the first one and do a book talk on that as well. So that will be coming soon. Number 10, follows the perfect time for cozy reading nights. Share your favorite cozy reading accessories. I'm pretty simple. I don't need a whole lot of accessories or what not to read, but <laughs> um, most generally I like to have a cup of tea and I always like to have some candles going. It just feels nice and cozy. And we're truly in perfect cozy reading time weather right now where I live. It's just... The final question here, question number 11, is spread the autumn appreciation and tag some people. First of all, if you have a channel and you want to do this tag, I would love to hear it. I am going to tag two people in particular, two of my book-ish friends here on YouTube, and that's always booked. Chloe, I know, girl, I know you're busy, but if you have the time, I'd love to hear your answers. And number two is Brittany. I think her channel is Books by Britannica. I'm gonna link her down below. I'm so bad with remembering names. Um, and she's one of my newer friends, so sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll link you down below. And uh, yeah, I'd love to hear your answers too, if you've got the time. I know everyone's busy, so no pressure, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, happy Thanksgiving if you are here in Canada, like I am. It's Thanksgiving weekend here. And I will see you guys again real soon. Bye.